Japan, the only G7 member and main West alliance in Asia, step up, with, step up its ties with the United Kingdom and the United States amid warming security situation in East Asia. In iconic Tower of London Fortress, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida have signed a defense agreement that could see troops deployed to each other's countries. The two countries are strengthening military ties amid growing concern about China's increasing military assertiveness in East Asia, particularly against Taiwan. The British government said the, that it cements British commitment to the Indo-Pacific region. The Reciprocal Access Agreement, Japan's first defense agreement with the European nation, allows the two G7 countries to hold joint military exercises. Earlier, the United States and Japanese foreign and defense ministers on Wednesday announced an agreement to adjust the American troop presence on the island of Okinawa. And Japan's defense ministry announced it was ready to start construction on an uninhabited island where the two militaries will hold joint military exercises. In unusually blunt terms, as both ministers condemned China's increasing aggressiveness in the Indo-Pacific and elsewhere, called out Russia for its war with Ukraine and castigated North Korea for ramping up its nuclear and missile programs. Washington is preparing to roll out the red carpet for Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's White House visit with President Joe Biden on Friday. This is the capstone, really, event of uh, Japan's rollout of new, unprecedented uh, national security and national defense strategies. Uh, in December, uh, Prime Minister Kishida and his government announced plans for, for really dramatic change in Japan's posture. Plans to increase defense spending uh, almost by double, uh, shattering a 50-year norm in Japan, uh, and plans to acquire much more significant military capabilities than they have ever had before. A really path-breaking change. So this meeting is an opportunity for Prime Minister Kishida to, to brief the president uh, on these changes to talk about ways in which they will enable deeper U.S.-Japan uh, cooperation uh, and to seek the president's